I'd tell you right now, Joey could come right here, right now, and he graduated in 81. What is that, 37 years ago? And I guarantee you that he could get up to the, up to the plate and, and still hit with power. I mean, you know, once you're a hitter like that, once you're a hitter, you'll always be a hitter. Uh, he's just, a, you know, a, a big guy that, you know, he's a pretty decent fielder. I mean, he caught the balls that came to him, but, but mainly, you know, you just, you, you wish you could see him up at every plate appearance, you know, but, but uh, uh, he's the only guy I've ever seen walked with the bases loaded. You know, it's better to give up the one run by walking in the guy from third base than give up four, right? So, uh, yeah, it, it, it was really quite something having Joey on our team. But he's probably playing somewhere around 300 pounds, but you wouldn't know it, he's just huge. The thing about Joey too, he had a good arm and, uh, and he was also pretty fast. So I, I just loved when I'm coaching third base and I hear uh, one of the guys in the dugout say, okay, no runner, well the steal sign came on the next pitch. And, uh, and he, you know, he, he, was, he was a good runner, so he could, he could steal pretty much when he wanted to. You know, the thing that stands out about Joey is just his, uh, is awesome power. I don't like to use that word awesome, except when I'm dealing with my grandkids. You know, it, the word awesome is, uh, to me, is reserved for something that's so special that it's beyond that, actually. And, and that's what, what Joey was. I mean, he would he would hit a ball, and some of the uh, the balls that he's hit in his life are just unbelievable. But I think the shot that he's known most for, and this is, this is truly a remarkable accomplishment, and that is that at Mile High Stadium, and yeah, it's the elevation and all that, but he, he hit a ball that they measured at 582 feet. And if you look at the history of recorded, you know, the recorded history of baseball, nobody has ever hit a ball that far. There have been a couple of guys in 560, like Mickey Mantle was 562, I think. But 582 feet. And it was on the upper deck. And what they did is they removed the chair that it, it landed on, and they actually put another color chair. So I think it was a blue chair that they put in. And when they renovated the stadium, they took that chair downstairs and somebody stole it. So some lucky guy has got the, the, the chair that marked Joey Myers' farthest baseball ever hit in baseball history. Just that alone requires him to be in, in my Hall of Fame. 